Hello, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. This is Pilates for Fit Mom, a class dedicated from a mother to mothers. But everyone else, you're welcome to join me. I understand as a mother, our daily activities could be challenging for us physically, and therefore we need to stay fit and strong to power through our days. However, this class is not suitable if you are in postnatal state or if you have a diastasis recti. Okay, let's begin the class. We're going to start seated. Have your legs in a diamond leg position. Sitting nice and tall, perching on your sitting bone. So an upright spine. Now we're going to take a moment to breathe. I know as a mother, it's very hard for us to sneak out sometimes to actually just breathe and settle down. So, so this is the time for you. Okay, so you may close your eyes if you like to. Place your hands, the heel of the palm, on the side of the rib cage. Now, as we inhale, we want to think about filling up our lungs. So allow the rib cage to expand into your heel of the palms or into your palms. You may even feel the pelvic floor stretching down to the floor. Now, as you exhale, lift the pelvic floor up. Feel the abdominal muscle contracting, deflate the rib cage, and breathe out from your mouth. And let's do that again. Inhaling. And exhaling. Pelvic floor lifting up, abdominal muscle contract, rib cage deflate, and the air comes out the mouth. And inhale. Again, you are also welcome to close your eyes here if you like to. Feeling the rib cage expanding. Exhaling, feeling the pelvic floor lifting, the abdominal contracting, the rib cage contracting. Inhaling, filling up your lungs. Exhaling. Deep inhalation through the nose. And an exhalation through the mouth. Continue your breathing. As you inhale, you want to explore to be able to expand your rib cage as wide as possible and really try to tap into the pelvic floor and feel if you can stretch the pelvic floor down to the floor. And then as you exhale, this is where you're going to lift up that pelvic floor up towards the abdominal cavity and feel the abdominal muscle contracting like a corset wrapping around your waistline and the rib cage deflate. Have that sort of thinking in your head as you inhale and exhale. How much can you really expand the rib cage? How much can you really wrap around your waistline, contracting the abdominal muscles? And be sensitive about the pelvic floor. And let's do two more here, inhaling. And exhaling. And the last one, inhaling. And as you exhale, have a sense of melting or softening in the joint. Yet feeling a sense of grounding through the pelvis. And let it go. Well done, mothers. All right, let's take your arms out to the side here. Turn the palms down here. Now I want you to stretch your arms as long as you can. Now externally rotate the shoulder. The palms are going to turn up to the ceiling and then turn the thumbs down to a floor, And then turn your hands and the arms the other direction for internal rotation. And an external rotation, open through the chest. And an internal rotation. And again, external rotation. And an internal rotation. Feeling the openness across the front of the chest. Feeling the spine. Lengthening up as strong as a pillar. Inhale. And then again, rotate two more times and up. And then rotate. Last one. And then rotate. Now keep the arms in this external rotation. Bring the arms forward. Exhale. Pull the arms back. Exhale. Again. Forward, five more, four, three, two, 
one, shh, and let it go. All right, bring your hands on your knees. Let's move our rib cage. We're gonna bring the chest forward and over to your right and rounding behind you over to the left. And again, so making a circular movement with the rib cage. We're gonna free up the ribs. Go wild, just move it as much as you can. And just breathing in and exhale. And breathing in and exhale. Last one. Let's go the other way. We go forward and to your left and back. In breath. And forward. Ribs, side, back and side. Forward, side, back and side. Ex explore your range of motion. Be free. Be wild. Just enjoy the movement. One more. And come back to the middle. Bring your body upright again. Arms up to the side again. Let's side bend yourself over to your left or to your right, more like it, my left. And then take the top arm over for a lateral stretch. And then lengthening through the spine, grounding down through the pelvis. Now from here, I'd like you to draw in the abdominal muscle and curl in the spine, reach the arm and turn the body diagonally. And we're just going to stay here and stretch the lower spine. Inhaling, lengthening through the spine. Exhaling, pulling in through the abdominal. Inhaling, lengthening through the spine. Exhaling, pulling into the abdominals. And turn your body facing me. Straighten the arms, lift the back and come back up. And over to your left. And softening the elbow, take the arm over. As you exhale, grounding through the pelvis, reaching your arms long. And now from here, drawing the abdominal in as you exhale and rotate the spine, bringing your body in a slight diagonal position. As we exhale, we pull the abdominal muscle towards the lower spine. We reach the arms in opposite direction. Again, inhaling, feeling the stretch across the right side of the back. And bring your body face me, straighten the arms, and come back up and let it go. Okay, let's bring ourselves to the floor. The best way is to roll to your side and then lie on your back. We're going to move on to our pelvic rocks. So have your feet in parallel position approximately about a fist between the heels, arms long by the side, your knees are pointing up to the ceiling, your pelvis is in neutral. The chest is nice and open and the neck is floating off the floor. The head is grounded on the floor. We inhale. As we exhale, I'd like you to tap into the abdominal muscles and draw the abdominal muscle towards the lower spine and that will imprint or press the lower spine down to the floor and your bottom will come off the floor. So you're creating like a hollow-like abdominal in the rocking. Inhale, release back to the neutral position. Exhale, deflating, drawing in, Imprint the back muscle and then inhale, release. Again, exhale, we rock the pelvis, lengthening the back down to the floor. Inhale, release back to the neutral. Exhale, we rock. Inhale, again, exhale, three more. Just rocking the pelvis, mobilizing the sacrum and the lower spine. Two more. Make sure that your glutes are not overactive here. So we want to use the abdominal instead of squeezing on the glutes to push the pelvis up. And release. Last one. Exhale. And release. Now moving on to a pelvic clock. What it is, imagine your belly button is 12 o'clock. Your left hip is at 3 o'clock, the pubic bone is 6 o'clock, and your right hip is 9 o'clock. So we're going to move and trail through all the numbers in the clock. So we start with 
and imprinted 12 o'clock, we scoop the belly, go to the pelvic rock, and then through one and two, you imprint number three, which is my left hip. And then through four and five, you imprint number six, which is my pubic bone. And we imprint seven, eight, and then nine, which is my right hip bone, and then 10, 11, back to 12, which is my belly button. Now we're going to continue that motion, the circular motion, imprinting every single number in that imaginary clock in on your pelvis. So just breathe as you go. Exhaling, rolling around, and try to keep the knees parallel all the time. So pure movement in the pelvis. And exhale, around. And we've got 12, three, six, nine, 12. One more time. Three, six, nine, 12. And back to neutral pelvis. A little tricky at times. Now let's go over to the other way. We've got a 12, then going anti clockwise, we go to 9, and then 6, and then 3, and a 12, 9, 6, 3, and a 12 to the right hip, pubic bone to the left hip, and again. We try to make the movement as voluptuous as possible and work through the sticky part around the pelvis. And again, it is like a little salsa dance here. And it's quite pleasant actually, moving the pelvis around in a direction that we actually don't do it. So I'm feeling my right sacrum is a little sticky today. That's a good stretch on the right sacrum. I don't know what I did today, but it just feels a little tight. Just observe it for yourself as well, in your own body. One more time. And come back to the neutral pelvis in the middle. All right, let's take it to a pelvic curl. So we breathe out through a pelvic rock, imprint the lower back, press the feet, use your hamstring to roll up the spine and keep the abdominals connected to the lumbar spine. Okay, we're going to finish up with the glute, spread your toes on the floor, lift the arches of the feet. As you breathe out, we roll the spine down, articulating vertebrae by vertebrae down to the floor and back to the neutral pelvis. Again, exhale, we roll up, lift the pelvis to a highest point, inhale. Exhale, we roll down and release the pelvis back. Let's do it again. One more time. Exhale, we roll up, roll up to that bridging position. Now stay. Take the arms up to the ceiling. Bring the arms overhead and keep the arms over there. Exhale, let's articulate the spine down, imprinting every single vertebrae down to the floor and release the pelvis back to neutral without popping the rib cage. So let the rib settle down to the floor. Again, keep the arms overhead. We roll up through the bridging position, lift the pelvis high, exhale, roll down vertebrae by vertebrae and release back to the neutral position. Let's do one more time. We exhale, we roll up, take it up, up, up in breath. Exhale, gaze to the ceiling as you allow the spine to lengthen away from your arms. That feels good and release back to neutral. Okay, let's take your arms down by the side of your pelvis. Now, leg lift and leg changes. Imagine you have a cup of tea on resting on your pelvis. More like a cold cup of tea. That's how I have my tea because I never have time to finish when it's hot. Now, stabilize the pelvis. Use the abdominal muscle and then contract the deep back muscle too. Breathe out, let's float the right leg up to the tabletop. Knee over the hip and your shin bone is parallel to the ground. We inhale, lower the leg from the hip joint, stabilize the pelvis, exhale, we'll lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. So we do not want to disturb the placement of the pelvis. Inhale, lower. Exhale, three more times. Exhale, use the abdominals to stabilize the pelvis when you lower the leg down. Last one, and lower, then change the leg. And exhale, left leg up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, inhale, 
Exhale. Three more. Knee over the hip. Movement from the hip joint. And the last one, we hold the left leg up. Now we want to recruit a little deeper in the abdominal and the deep back muscle. We're going to do leg changes. So we switch the leg as we breathe that. Keep that cup of tea on the pelvis. Exhale. Movement comes from the hip joint. Keeping the knee constant. We got two, two, one, one, both legs up at tabletop. Please hold that. Press your hand against the thighs. I like you to push down with the hands and push up with your thigh at the same time and you breathe out. And exhale. We press against each other, hold it up, contract the abdominal muscle. Do not let the belly jolt up for five, four, three, two, one and release two more times exhale press down and push up drawing that deep abdominal muscle in stay there for five four three two one let the body shake and again one more time exhale press five four three two one well done and release lower one foot down second down Slide your hands underneath the back of your head, interlace your fingers, ready for the chest lift. The elbows come off the floor, create like a hammock-like. Grip in the arms and here as you breathe out. We draw in the abdominal muscle, glide the ribcage down and lift the head up to a chest lift. Inhale, we hold. Exhale. Again. Exhale, we lift. Lift, lift, lift. Keep this in, belly stays in, in breath. Exhale, again, we'll lift. Inhale, we step. Exhale, we go down. Again, exhale, we'll lift. Inhale, keep the abdominal scooped in. Exhale, we come down two more times. We'll lift, in breath. Exhale, last one. Exhale, we'll lift, in breath, and exhale, come on down. Again, now we're gonna add rotation here. Exhale, we'll lift, we hold, stretch your arms forward, palms together like prayer, to your right, inhale, center. Rotate from the waist, reach forward and center. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale. In breath, center. Exhale. Center. Try to keep the height of the shoulder blades off the floor all the time. Center. Deep scoop in abdominal, center. Last set. Last one. Well done. Hands behind your head. And release, done, well done ladies. Okay, stretch your arms overhead. We float one leg up to the tabletop. The second leg up joining, squeezing the thighs together, ready for the hundred. So we breathe out, take the arms up, lift the head and the chest up. Now you're welcome to stay in tabletop position or you're welcome to join me with a straight leg. Inhale, prepare, exhale, five breath out. And inhale, four, five. And exhale, four, five. Keep the chest high. Exhale. Inhale, four, five. Exhale, four, five. And inhale through the nose. Three more sets. Two, and last, hold, bend the knees, lower the head, open your arms up to a T position, 
Hold that, ready for our spine to supine. Keeping the inner thighs together, rotating from the waistline towards me. As we inhale, keep the legs together. Exhale, contract the abdominal, bring the legs back to the center. Inhale over towards the other side, opposite shoulder stays down. Exhale, pulling through the center to return the legs back. Inhale, rotating from the waistline, opposite shoulder stays down, firmly press the arms down to the floor. And then inhale over to the other side. And exhale, center. And inhale with twist. And exhale, center. And inhale with twist. And exhale, make sure the legs do not drop down to the floor. So control your rotation. Exhale. Last one here, inhale. Exhale. All right, let's lower one foot down, second down. Now I'd like you to take your feet slightly further away from your pelvis. Take your arms up overhead, palms facing to each other. We're going to do a modified roll up and then we're gonna do the roll up. So we inhale, lifting the chest, arms by the side of your thigh. Exhale, pull in the belly, bring yourself up into the C curve position and then lengthen the spine up tall. And into flexion as you breathe out, we roll the pelvis back away from the legs and then take the arms overhead. And inhale, chest lift. Exhale, scoop deep, bring yourself up. Bring it up and over into the C curve. And then we're going to lengthen the spine up tall. And exhale, we round. Now, if this is too challenging for you, you can go ahead and roll back, and grab the back of your thigh and slide your arms down to help yourself down and arms overhead. And the same way as you come up, you grab the back of your thigh, we scoop the belly as much as you can, imprint the back, pull up, and then take the arms off as you go into the C curve and then lift up tall. And inhale, if you do not need assistance with the arms, let's just go ahead and roll back and forward like what I'm doing now. Now, if you feel like that's a, that's a doable thing for you, straighten the legs. We inhale, lift, exhale, bring yourself up. So choose a way that is suitable for you today. We lift the spine up tall. And into deep scoop into C curve, we articulate the spine away from your thighs to go down and take your arms overhead. Let's do one more time. Chest lift. Exhale, squeeze in the thigh, pulling the belly in and bring yourself over, lifting up through the spine and release that. All right, so have your feet slightly wider than your pelvis. Let's move on to our spine stretch. And we're going to do this with, a di um, with, the, with adding a back extension. So arms are forward, your back is nice and tall. If that's too challenging for you today, you may bend the knees to help your back to stay upright. If you can have your legs straight and back straight, come and join me with the straight legs. So take an in breath here. Exhale, we articulate the spine down and forward. Reach long. Now inhale here. I'd like you to lengthen the sitting bone down and start lifting the middle back, upper back into one line. A diagonal line here. Exhale, dip scoop in the lower abs, middle abs into flexion and roll up the spine back upright. Exhale, we roll down and forward. Inhale, we elongate the spine, taking our spine into a diagonal line. Arms next to your ears. Exhale, we go deep scoop into the abdominal, flex forward and roll up right. Again, exhale two more times, roll forward and down. Inhale, we lift, lift, we lengthen. Exhale, we scoop forward and down and roll up through the spine. Again, exhale, last one here, roll forward and down. Inhale, lengthening, exhale, flexing the spine, and we roll up tall. Bring the legs together, 
Keep the feet dorsiflex. Open your arms out to a T position. Let's go to a spine twist. Towards me, please. Double breath. Shh, shh. Inhale. Exhale. Shh, shh. And we rotate from the trunk and center. Shh, shh. And center. Shh, shh. Shh, shh. Nice and tall. Shh. And shh, shh. Two more sets. Shh. And shh. Last set, last one, back to center and let it go. Modified back support, we bend the knees, we take the fingertips, palms down, fingertips facing your bottom, or if you need to, you can actually have them facing to the side. So either to the bottom, if you can, or to the side. Your feet are hip width distance apart, about a fist between the heels. Open the chest, proud chest. As we breathe out, we lift the pelvis, squeeze the bottom up, open up the chest, guess to the ceiling. And folding through the hips, open chest as you just tap the bottom down. And then we bounce back up again. And inhale, we lower. Again, exhale, we bounce, lift the pelvis, open the chest, gaze to the ceiling. In breath. Two more times, please. Exhale. In breath. Last one, please. Exhale. In breath. Well done. Now I'd like you to take your right arm in between the thigh. Turn the fingertips towards backward here. Now from here, I'd like you to press the pelvis up. Come up what you did before, but this time with rotation. So we press the feet, lift the bottom, reach up. Other arm up to the sky, push up and hinge down. Look forward two more times. Exhale, we'll lift. Look up to the sky. Inhale, we go down. One more. Exhale, we'll lift. Try to keep the pelvis parallel. And then inhale, come on down. And let's switch over. I got my right hand behind me, my left arm between my leg. And we breathe out. Lift the pelvis. Look up to the sky and an in breath, face forward. Again, exhale, reach up to the sky and in breath, down. Last one, exhale, reach up to the sky and in breath, well done. All right, turn your body facing me. Let's go to a side kick. I like you to have your forearm, so I have my left forearm down. If you mirror me, it's probably your right forearm. Now straighten both legs long. Align the shoulder and the, and the elbow. Lifting up and engage the bottom waistline. Take the top arm up behind here, or you can have it down here too for better balance. Reach the top leg long, dorsiflex. Let's go side kick forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Stabilize the power of this and back. Two more set. Last set. Back, back, center, and release. Let's go over to the other side. So elbow and shoulder in one vertical alignment. Engaging the underneath waistline, opening across the front of the chest, top arm behind your head or in front of you. Take the top leg up, dorsiflex the foot and let's go forward. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Two more sets, last set, reach back, legs together. And let it go. Let's go to a quadruped position for our cat stretch. So we have a vertical alignment of the shoulders and the heel of the palm and the knee and the center of your hip. Now we're going to draw into the abdominal muscle and then take the spine into flexion. And lengthening through neutral, take the upper back up into extension. And through neutral, we round the back into flexion. And then through neutral, 
And we take our upper back to an extension. Two more times. Exhale through neutral. And we flex. And through neutral. Inhale, extend. One last. Exhale through neutral. And we round. And, and through neutral spine. And we extend up. And come back to that neutral spine. All right, we got a glute series. So bottom series here. Now stabilize your shoulder, your hip. Take your left foot off. I want you to pull up this lower abs. And then let's take the thigh up and then down. For 10, stabilize the pelvis. So working through your hamstrings and your glutes here. And it's four. And five. And six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And let's go to the side. So out. Two. Lift the leg from the hip. And a four. Stabilize the center. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. Last ten. Okay, extend the leg behind you. And let's lift. And two. Don't forget to lift the lower abdominal. Three. And four. Strong arms. Open chest. And six. And seven. Eight. Nine. Last ten. Okay, and bring it in. Let's go over to the other side. I'm just going to turn myself around so you can see my leg. All right, so let's have the right foot off and we'll lift. And two. And three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, last ten to the side from the hip. And two, strong upper back, three, long neck, four, open the chest, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and a ten. Straighten leg behind you, pull up the lower abs and we'll lift. And two. And three, don't let the lower back sway down. Four, push the floor away. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well done, ten. Okay, and release. Now I'd like you to tuck your toes under. Now here, what we're gonna do, you are not in neutral spine. You're going to draw in the lower abs. <sighs> And you're going to flatten this lumbar spine only, the lower back. And then, as you pull that lower back up, using your abdominal, we're going to lift the knees. And we stay there. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We hold, maintain that structure, and then extend the right leg, tuck the toes and bring it in, and tuck the toes, and then bring it in, and out. Modified front support here, out. To teach you how to get into your plank, and out. Lower abs are working here. And strong across the front of the chest, long strong arms. And two more sets. Last set. Last one. Bring it in. And roll is done. Well done. Okay, let's go to our front. So I'm gonna turn myself around again. Now, tripod arms, crossing the fingers or interlacing the fingers, elbows slightly wider than the shoulders. And I'd like you to push the forearm down to lift the upper back. Neck is long, legs are long behind you. Let's bring both legs off the floor. Let's go to single leg kick here. Right leg will bend. And left, and inhale, and inhale. So we go, inhale, and, 
and sh Last set. Extend both legs out. Stretch it out for me, please. Now I'd like you to turn your head towards me. Interlace the hands and the small of the back. Keep the legs floating. And now from here for the double leg kick. So we're gonna kick the legs three times. Kick one, two, three. Now extend the legs long. Interlace the hand. Reach the arms off your bottom. Lift the back. Head over to the other side, and we switch. Inhale, reach long, reach long, reach long, and turn to me. Exhale. Inhale, reach, 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 and to the other side. Exhale. Inhale, reach, 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 and again, last set. Inhale, reach, 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 and last one. Inhale, reach, reach. Stay, hold the legs. Let go of the hands, circle your arms. Next to your ears, head is down. Separate the legs, let's go to your swimming. Inhale, as we tap the arms and the legs. Exhale, in breath, long, strong back. Exhale, in breath, legs are parallel. Moving from the shoulders and the hip joint. Two more times. Last one. Hold everything up and release down. Well done. Bring your forearm to the side of the shoulders. Push the floor away, rounding the back. Sit the pelvis down to your heels. Hand stretch your arms long just for a quick rest position. Take an in breath. Exhale. Let's roll your spine up. Okay, let's stand up with me. We're going to finish the class with sun footwork. So not everything, just some of it. So I'd like you to have your feet in external rotation. So if you have your feet together and then just rotate the legs externally to your maximum rotation and you have that B position. Interlace your hands behind your head. Okay, let's do this. We're going to inhale, bend. Now here, I'd like you to keep the whole spine long and not lean forward. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, three more. Zip through the middle, pelvic floor and belly. Two more. Last one. Now we bend again, a little pulses here. So here we go. Exhale, inhale. Three, two, one. Extend the legs all the way. Hold. All right. Now I want you to do that again. Now rise up onto the ball of your feet. So keep the heels together. Find your balance. All right. Woo, there we go. Keep the heels up. We do it again. In breath. And two. And three. Zip up. And four. Zip tall. Neck is long. Again. And three. Two more. And one. All right. And the pulses. We go down and we go. Inhale. And bounce. And. And. And three. And two. And one. Exhale all the way, reach tall, tall, tall. Open your arms out to the side, maintain that length. You're gonna grow tall, you're gonna be strong, you're gonna lift up that pelvic floor and join the abdominals, press the earth down with the arms and release. Well done. Have your legs in parallel, take an in breath, we'll finish up with a roll down. So I'm just gonna turn myself to the side, in breath. Exhale, softening at the knees and roll the spine down articulating the spine vertebrae by vertebrae and then take the pelvis forward bring yourself closer to the floor let it go let go the tension off the neck of the shoulder inhale exhale we pick ourselves up we articulate our spine we take ourselves into a beautiful 
lengthen standing position deep inhalation with me please exhale one more time inhalation exhale and you're done thank you mothers for joining me i wish you a lovely day stay strong and fit